hey what's up I wanted to upload this little Easter egg I found I was randomly exploring and I I found this little 8-bit pizza bar and it turns out this is where all the human companions hang out when you're not using them so I don't know where cheeseburger peaches and boomer hang out they might be somewhere else but I just thought it was hilarious that all the human companions just hang out in the same spot when they're not being used so I thought I'd upload it for anybody that to uh, to see so I'm gonna run in I'm gonna talk to everybody to, to show you all the uh, characters please pee inside but that's it so just check it out see you guys later but talk about my psycho radar failing me man when I first met faith I tell you I was ready to eat her up like a dog on a peanut butter biscuit See, I ain't had much luck with women in my life, and Faith was sweet and gentle. She'd come around, we'd chit-chat. Of course, my brain wasn't actually registering none of the words she was saying, just my ears were paying way too much attention to, like, the soothing sound of her voice and, like, the pitch, the cadence. I mean, it melted my heart. Guess there is a downfall to being so musically inclined. Burning down their super flowers and the guy in charge of them was a great idea. Even if the fire did, probably give Sharky an erection. Let me tell you, third trimester pregnancy hormones are straight up bananas. The mood swings are so dramatic. I switch up emotions so fast now, and don't get me started on all the weight I put on. These are my fat genes. Folks around here say I would have been safe inside our bunker. John C. knew about it. The thing was made to survive a nuke or something, not no crazy-ass cult. A locked door don't make you safe from someone who really wants to get in. At least driving out, we had a chance. Time to put our lost ones to rest and start to build for a new tomorrow. Thank you for giving us that tomorrow. God damn, that was good. My only regret is not torturing that sick fuck. But then again, that would have put me on his level. John Seed never had the father's full confidence, what I heard. But Joseph loved little sister Faith and gave her everything her twisted heart desired. That Joseph Seed. He's slipperier than a greased up dildo. I'm not gonna ask why that's your go to metaphor. Ever try to double end on a boat? say this, sweetheart, but a couple of inches don't matter. Well, I guess it's good that you're senior's campaign manager now. I mean, he never listened to any of my ideas. Like, um, my wet t-shirt contest to raise election fundraisers. I was gonna call it an erection fundraiser. Or my town hall style wet t-shirt contest for community outreach. Or, or my best idea, which was this yard sign. There was a photo of a woman in a wet t-shirt. But the t-shirt said, elect Drubman 2018, or alternately erect Word. Drubman 2018. Okay. See, man, I was working on some subliminal next level shit. My daddy just wasn't on that tip, you know? I mean, I was thinking, like, you're looking at the titties, but his message is gonna sneak in, man. And then from then on, you're walking around, and every time you see titties, you're thinking about my daddy. Daddy. 